guys, it's Lee, and today we're going to be making some layered Christmas brownies. It's kind of like a brookie, which is chocolate chip cookie and brownie with some sugar cookie on top. First off, I have my pan, and I do not know if this is an 8x8 or a 9x9, but you're supposed to use an 8x8, so use an 8x8. I have lined it with parchment paper, and that's just to make the brownies come out easier. Um, you can skip that step if you want to. Next, you're going to take your chocolate chip cookie dough. I bought 12 big cookies, so I don't know if I'm going to need this whole pack. You can also buy the tubes, but the store I was in didn't have it, so this is what I'm going with. I forgot to say you should preheat your oven to 350. Next, we're gonna take this Betty Crocker fudge brownie mix. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna make it according to the package directions, except I'm going to be adding coffee instead of water. I'm going to pour the brownie mix over the cookie dough. Spread that all around. And then I'm going to add these sugar cookies to the top. Now these are going into a 350 degree oven. Cooking times are going to vary based on how thick each of your layers is. But I'm going to start at 25 minutes, test it, and I'll let you know at the end how long it actually took to bake. Okay, so here they are. They baked for 35 minutes and the top is still a bit jiggly, but I'm afraid to let them go anymore because I don't want to burn the cookie on the bottom. So I'm going to let these sit for about a half an hour and then I'll be back and we'll cut into them and see what they look like. They've been cooling in the pan for 30 minutes but they're still super hot so I took them out and I'm gonna let them cool the rest of the way on the cooling rack. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. They are still a little warm and you really should let them cool completely. They are a bit gooey. I might have let them bake about five more minutes and they'd be perfect. They're a little gooey on the inside, which is okay. We like gooey brownies, so it works out. Um, but if you'd let them go a little longer and cool them completely, they would cut a lot nicer. My husband and son are circling like hyenas, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up so they can try them. So here's what they look like on the inside. They look amazing. My house smells so good, and they're doing a voiceover for this, so I can tell you that they do taste really good. So if you like this recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 5 Thanks for watching. Bye.